Hello everybody, this is Grim Gary, and I'm doing a Minecraft accounting. Basically, I'm uh, summarizing my feelings about Minecraft and its development. Uh, as you all know, Minecon and its release are happening this weekend. Uh, and I guess Minecraft 1.0 is going to be coming out. Um, and uh, this is sort of a rant, so <laughs> I hope you don't mind, and I hope you don't mind that you're just looking at a picture and listening to the sound of my voice. But let's go through a little bit of history here. Um, last October, over, over a year ago now, we were introduced to the Nether, which was a fascinating, fiery, lava-strewn thing filled with ghasts and pig zombies. Its main premise is that you, we could travel really far by constructing gates into and out of it, but you know what? People soon realized that uh, there was no point in moving around in Minecraft, especially in a single-player game. Um, I mean, the only things you really went in there for after a while were some nether racks, maybe some soul sand, you know, stuff to make traps and stuff like that for monsters in the overworld. Um, that and you had to collect unreasonable amounts of glowstone dust just to make a few glowstone blocks. But that did change. Um, a little bit later. Uh, the nether, you know, just became mostly an unused feature for a long time. Over a year, you know. Uh, finally it came to multiplayer, and that was neat. People only still went in there to get a few blocks that they couldn't normally get uh, in their multiplayer worlds. Um, then, uh, I remember... <sighs> Uh, leading up to that, too, uh, the people were showing off pictures and and whatnot of their nether gate housings and stuff like that, and how they would stop ghasts from spawning around their nether gate. But the ghasts appearing in the overworld thing never happened. Um, they just kind of stood there and made a lot of noise, and they were still kind of safe. Um, you know, and that was alpha. And then we went into beta earlier this year. Um, and Mojang mostly continued to grow its company and go into other game title developments, which is fine. They had millions of people who had already bought uh, Minecraft in both Alpha and then through Beta, and word kept spreading, and this basically this thing kept steamrolling. Um, during the Beta stage, uh, updates were really few and far between. There were in fact, months of time, I think between February and like April or May, where nothing was happening. And then finally Terraria came out, and Notch looked at it and said, Hey, I want to create an adventure for Minecraft. I want boss fights, I want villages. and So I'm going to put all this energy and everything towards an adventure update. And everybody was like, yeah, that's really cool. And he started listing off some of the features and everything like that. And everybody was down with it, you know. Uh, but I think everybody had a different vision of what that would be compared to what Notch and Jeb actually implemented. Uh, you know, and then 1.7 came out. We got some pistons, which were probably the best dynamic devices uh, added to Minecraft in a while since minecarts and the powered rails and, and rail detectors. Those really made for some interesting devices. <laughs> Um, so 1.8 was announced, and that would be the first adventure update um, that would come out. It would come out in three parts, was the original plan. 1.8, 1.9, and 1.10, or 1.10. Um, so 1.8 hit after packs, and we were introduced to the first elements of the adventure update. It started off great. New biomes, terrain generations were the main feature. Uh, they're not perfect. I mean, like, the mountains are kind of barren. I think they could have had forested mountains and rocky mountains and all sorts of mountains. Uh, you know, sub-biomes, basically. Uh, we were also introduced into new lighting system, which was very nice. Uh, I do like it. made our videos a little bit bigger when we first started doing them. Uh, so we had to <laughs> really watch out what we were doing as uh, video makers. Um... We were also introduced to the new animal spawning system, which wasn't so great. It was only half a system. Uh, basically, animals in a region were uh, limited. Um, 
so you you would have to breed them and stuff like that. But that part wasn't implemented, so you would soon end up with an empty area without any cows, chickens, pigs, or sheep. Um, but you had shears, so you didn't have to kill sheep, which was okay, but they didn't produce meat. Um, so a lot of us became vegetarians. Um, we were also introduced to new combat elements, like pulling back on the bow, which was pretty cool. I do like that. No more machine gun bow. That was that was always a fly, I, I thought. Uh, the new blocking system for the sword, along with critical hits, was really cool. I like that. Uh, the ability to build up experience, even though there was no leveling up at the time, that was that was still a nice direction, I think, that it was going in. Um, uh, we also were introduced to villages, but they didn't have villagers yet, uh, which was reserved for 1.9. Uh, deep in the ground, we could find abandoned mine shafts and strongholds. Mixed blessings here. Um, unfortunately, the abandoned mine shafts made things a little bit too easy. You could basically find all the minecart track you would want. You didn't really have to work for it too much. Um, and strongholds didn't really have anything to them other than maybe a treasure chest here or there in a library. Uh, we were also introduced to the Endermen, which became laughable with all their weaknesses. <laughs> uh, in 1.8, the, they're just... they're silly. Uh, blue Spiders, which were challenging and rough. I like the Blue Spiders, uh, the poison that they do. Uh, that made for a challenge while you were underground. Uh, the Silver Fish were also introduced at this time. Uh, it could only be found by breaking blocks and strongholds. Uh, and then they would keep coming out as you try to kill the silverfish. Very interesting. Kind of annoying, but it was a very nice touch. Um, soon thereafter, 1.9 started coming out. This is where I think Minecraft start development, not Minecraft itself, but Minecraft development started taking this nosedive in the wrong directions. Uh, we were first introduced to villagers. They were laughable, pathetic-looking, squidward-looking things in monk robes, and they wandered around and had no function. To this day, even before release, they still have no function. Uh, enchanting, which is actually a very nice system, uh, the problem is I'm not sure why a random cryptic thing was installed for it. The Commander Keen Galactic Language was really, I don't think, a good fit for Minecraft. And the fact that the enchantments are kind of random kind of makes it, I don't know, not worth it most of the time, because you never know what you're really going to get. And if you don't mod Minecraft you're, or look up the Commander Keen Galactic uh, um, Language, you're not going to understand. Of course, there are ways around that you can modify Minecraft, but... Not everybody's a modder. Not everybody wants to mod Minecraft. So a lot of people are going to be stuck sitting there going, well, what the heck am I making in my enchanting bench? And they added in, like, swirly runes and letters going in from bookshelves to the uh, enchanting table. Nice touch, but did all the development time really needed to go into that. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's a, a nice flourish. I like, I won't, I won't really complain about that, but I, I just don't, there's a lot more of development that went wrong, I think. Alchemy was one of the biggest problems I had. First of all, I know how to brew potions. Second, I don't like to brew potions because it is an overly complicated system. When you compare it to the rest of Minecraft, um, where the systems that are in place are rather simple. Um, alchemy is very bulky and requires too much time for the reward that you are getting out of it. Um, I don't mind challenges. Like, I just don't like the bulkiness, the, the unneeded bulkiness and complications of this system. Um... And you, I mean, you can get some good things out of it, 
but it's not worth that reward, especially for what you have to do to go and get everything you need to brew potions. It is just overdone. Um, then the nether was improved too. We were introduced to blazes and lava, uh, magma slimes, I think they're called. Um, and there are nether dungeons and fortresses and bridges, um, which was neat. The problem is they went towards systems that, in the end, <laughs> uh, didn't really seem like a focused development uh, cycle when you're working towards release. Um, well, the nether improvements seem to go towards alchemy and the end. Um, and that was it. You know, you st if you didn't want to do those things, then there's still no reason to go in the nether. There's no reward other than that. Um, which brings us to the development of the end and the ender dragon. Um, my firm belief is that this did not need to happen or be worked on. This was probably the biggest misuse of development time. Uh, that Mojang could have done. Uh, I could see it in a future update after release, but working towards this goal, this end, doesn't seem appropriate and doesn't seem to fit with Minecraft. Uh, it is actually, it suffers from the problem of the Nether. It is a boring place, and there's nothing to do there except defeat the Ender Dragon. And the only reason why you want to defeat the Ender Dragon is to bring up this scrolling text, this end story, which when I was reading it on other people's videos, I was I was appalled. It was it was disjointed and just just it didn't need to be there. Um it put me at a loss of words of what was I really looking at and why was development time spent on this. And then you're just sh shunted back into your your world after defeating the Ender Dragon and taking an, trying to take an egg that you can't take. Uh, I guess it brings forth another Ender Dragon. Um, so that goal adding to Minecraft just didn't it just doesn't seem to fit. Um, I think development time could have spent on more interesting things or completing old systems and making them more enhanced such as rail, uh, the rail system, more redstone devices, that kind of thing. Uh, this time, Minecraft is more about multiplayer than it is about single player anyway, so that's where things should happen. Do not get me wrong though, I love Minecraft. I have no doubts about that. I will continue to love it until it just becomes, you know, that game that I used to play and I used to be part of the, the community and I love you guys. Um, but it's to date development direction leading to release is full of disjointed hastily added features that make no sense to what the game is or was. Uh, much better developing time could have been spent on better features. Um, one thing we didn't even get through all this was uh, the modification API, which would have helped Minecraft immensely. To be able to uh, put mods in and out of uh, Minecraft would have been a godsend. Never got that. I would have rather have seen that than this Ender Dragon. And don't get me wrong about the Ender Dragon. The Ender Dragon looks awesome, and it's a fearsome beast, and it's great for what it is, but it, it isn't anything. So... <laughs> Why do I want to defeat the Ender Dragon? I don't know. Um, but yeah, the modders never got what they needed, and they and they have been probably the best modern modding community I've ever seen. They have added so much fun and ingenuity to Minecraft than the development team uh, has to date, really. Uh, I mean, if you look at it, like Millionaire, Mine Colony, um, and Tale of Kingdoms of late. Um, have added real vill villages with uh, purposes to them uh, for the development of that sort of medieval sort of world. And they're starting to work together too. So I mean, 
and their development has has added more to the the game than than the developers in in over the almost two years now. <laughs> the modders have have added a lot more to the game, uh, and I think that's the direction I'm looking towards when I'm looking for fun in Minecraft. Um, is looking at the modding community more than I am to the developers, uh, and that's sad. That, that that's a sad state of development. <laughs> Uh, I'm also aware that they're going to add more to, to Minecraft in the future. Uh, Mo, Mo Yang is. Um, I wouldn't mind if they actually completed the systems that they started working on or built up what they already have. You know, just finishing things out, fleshing things out, making them more connected. Um, and that's, that's what they need to do. Uh, because the mod community is making it a more complete game than Notch and his team are. If I had to grade Minecraft right now, it gets an A+. Mo Yang gets an A+, for allowing allowing itself to be a part of its own community as well. Because uh, they, they do. I mean, they have reached out to their community, and, and their community has helped them grow, and they have helped their community grow. Uh, but they get a D- minus for pro produ uh, productive development direction. They have lost direction. And they need to find direction again. Um, so yeah, that's that's my basic rant. Uh, I just think 1.9 and this adventure update didn't pan out. Uh, and I hope that the future of Minecraft's development uh, after release is going to be much better. And I'm I'm looking forward to seeing more from Mo Yang. Uh, don't think I'm I'm being a hater. Uh, just remember, I do love Minecraft, and I'm going to continue to make Minecraft videos, and I'm going to try to make them more interesting videos, and I'm going to get back to my humor, and I'm going to do it in my voices and all these things all the days, all the time. Um, I just want to see it. I just want to see Minecraft get worked on the way it needs to get worked on. And I hope uh, this message reaches somebody out there. <laughs> I'm not looking for you to all agree with me. Um, I'm sure you have your own opinions. And I'm sure some of you are going to say, well, if you don't like a feature, don't use it. That's, and that's a problem. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's going to be features I don't use in, a, in a, any game. But to put major development time into features that they want you to use seems kind of a waste of time. So, I don't know. You're going to go out there and defeat your Ender Dragons, and then you'll see. You'll be like, okay, I did it. Now what? I'm left with this game with kind of old features and nothing in more interesting to do. So, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> but, yeah, just don't think I'm a hater. Uh, you can love Minecraft in your own way. You can love the development team in your own way. This is just my opinion. And thank you for listening.